Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today I think is the 28th of December. Let's see. Sunday was 26th, Monday was the 27th, today's the 28th. It is 70 some degrees outside in this late December month. This is crazy, but it's been a good day because I've had the boys again today and we've been outside on the playground and now they're coming in and fixing to have some lunch and then they get to rest for a little bit. Um, I not even comb my hair as you can tell. I just pulled it back out of my eyes. Um, I have been taking down Christmas. Like, you need a break? Judah needs a break. But I've been taking down Christmas decorations and let me show you my dining room table. I haven't even got them all in there yet, but let me just show you. Yeah, here is a plethora of Christmas and I still have more to bring in here. But there's, there's, there's so I've been busy today, but the good news of today is they hit water. The well drillers hit water. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so just so you know, that's like the big thing of today. My house is still a disaster and it will be until I get all this put up. I'm gonna get Brian to take me to Walmart tonight. Um, actually, I'm gonna get him to take me out to eat. I will I will comb my hair before we go eat and, um, and then um, buy some new tubs. I need new tubs for my Christmas decorations. Um, well, last year, I ended up having to, the lids like busted on one and I ended up having to wrap it in tin foil. <laughs> a big old tub and I wrapped it in tin foil. So I'm not doing that this year. So we're gonna go buy some new tubs. Um, and anyway, so that's what I'm working on today. But uh, I wanted to come on and tell you, Isaac, I mean Isaac, Judah and Levi and I took an outing. We went outside, it was so pretty. We wrote, walked up the road to the dr new driveway and into Caroline and Jamie's new house. And we walked out and we watched the well drillers for a while and we were actually there when they hit water. So that was kind of a fun, a fun thing to be there for. Um, Caroline and Jamie weren't there, but Judah and Levi were. Although they have no idea what happened. But anyway, they hit water. So what's the matter? It's hot in here. I gotta cut this heat down. Uh oh. He fell. The horse bucked him off. All right, we're even gonna cut the heat off. We're just cutting the heat off. I think I should have bought both of them a horse. But anyway, I think Judabug loves it. And Levi likes my legs. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are, we're gonna go from now. I'm gonna fix them some lunch. And I'm gonna keep undecorating and piling in the dining room and putting gifts away and just straightening a little bit. The house is a wreck, but I can't do a whole lot with two rambunctious little boys here, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So, okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. We're heading out to dinner. I got home from working over at Caroline's today and doing some ministry stuff. And Miss Lizzie said, hey, you're taking me out to eat. I've been here cooped up with these kids all day. So uh, we've come to town and we're getting Mexican. Okay, guys, well, I talked him into taking me to dinner since I had the boys all day and the dining room table's covered. So my two boys have carried me to dinner. What you getting? And we're getting, we're eating Mexican. And I think we're, Bright and I are gonna share the fajitas. Is that right? I don't know if, are we doing chicken and shrimp or just chicken? It's up to you. I don't know. Either one. Tell, them why, tell them why we share. <laughs> Which reason? The real reason. <laughs> because he's tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, she says cheap. But it's this big enough for both it of us. It is big enough for both of us. And I'm cutting back on yep. portions. So. And Isaac's eating off the kids' menu. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. All right, Isaac. Tell us what you got. I don't remember. You don't. <laughs> you told me. I've never got this before. But never good. Never got it before. Yeah. What is it? 
The breaded grilled chicken. Breaded grilled chicken? And it's so tender. It it's so apart. tender. Leslie, what'd you get? Chicken fajitas to share with you. Chicken fajitas to share with me. Look at there. Look at there. So, all right, guys. Very simple meal, but it's going to be good. All right, guys. We're here at Walmart, and we're in hot pursuit. Tell them what you're looking for, Mom. Hog jowl. Okay. What for? For New Year's. Okay. And they don't have any. What? They don't have any. Can you believe that? And so I'm going to have to go, go ask on a the search. Go ask the guy over there. There's an employee. Go ask him. Go. No, go, no, go, go. You go ask go him. Go ask him. Go. Ask him. No. Hurry. Go. No. Scaredy cat. <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> go. Go. Come on. No. Go. Go. Go ask him. Here, here he comes. Go. Go. Come on. Right here. Tell, sir. See, I got his attention. Here we go. It's gonna be a week. It's gonna be a week. And we're gonna be out. Looks like we're eating pork chops this year. Okay, that right, turned so up nothing. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna look at other grocery stores. <laughs> I mean, we can't eat other parts of the pig. Well, yeah, because we're gonna have pork chops too. But I really want my pork, my hog jowl. Okay. Because right. it's my last cheat day. That's I mean, your... it's the last cheat day. You cheated ever. tonight. Not really. Yeah, that was I did not a, pretty good. That was not a leaning green. Well, I still did good. Okay. All right. All right. So, All how right. many ounces are you up? I'm not up any. You're not Thank up you. any. Oh. I'm at my lowest. Little snappy there, sister. Yes. All right. So now we're gonna go buy tubs Leave to that. put our Christmas decorations in. Leave that toot at home. <laughs> Hey y'all, we're back home. Hey everybody. Been home for a little while. He actually stopped back by over at Caroline and Jamie's house um, and did a little work in the bathroom. Not much. Not much. Um, Isaac and I brought the boys back home here. Um, and they just came and picked them up. So. What kind of coffee? That's just, that's just um, donut shop. Donut shop. So today Walmart was a great brand. day. The whale diggers drilled the whale. They found water. They had a, an exceptional whale. Um, it, they dug it about 180 feet, and it's getting about... In the very first spot they started digging, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't even move. Yep. Uh, 180 feet, and they're getting 50 gallons a minute, which is a, a great whale for this area. So, um, so we're, we're excited. The plumber. So we're no longer singing the first no no well. The plumbers come back tomorrow, and uh, he and I will put the well pump in, and the electrician's coming back tomorrow. And so uh, if everything goes well, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> well, everything goes well, well. Um, tomorrow we may be finished. Whoop, whoop. Depends. Depends. So. Well, very close. Praisers come tomorrow, right? The appraiser comes tomorrow because they're so close. And for those of you who may not know what we're talking about, Bryant has built um, our daughter Caroline and her husband or oversaw building of their dream House. home. Yeah. <laughs> their, their forever home. Um, it's bigger than ours. Not, I mean... They have two boys. <laughs> yeah. And, um, what I'm saying is they're half our age. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But anyway, um, but they got a whole lot more debt. <laughs> so he, yeah, that's, that's right. He is, he kind of oversaw the building of, of their house and we had some issues with the whale. Mm -hmm. And you can go back and, and catch the other blogmas. So anyway, um, the whale has been drilled and, the praisers come tomorrow, so hopefully they will have a CO in the next few days. What's a CO? A CO is Certificate of Occupancy, which means the the inspectors come out and say, yeah, electrical's fine, plumbing's fine, I check off on this, check off on that, your steps are the right height, so yes, you can move in. Did, did I ever tell you guys what the farmer uses when he goes out to check his cows to see how many cows he has? I don't believe I know this one. A calculator. Oh. 
<laughs> I did know that one. A calculator. A calculator. Oh, mercy. Don't y'all love it when she rolls her eyes? I can't even tell a joke. I roll them every joke. She rolls her eyes. Every joke. So, anyway, it has been a good day. I've had the boys for two days. And tomorrow, I'm not having them. They mama's got them. Mama's, her, their mama has them tomorrow. And I'm going to finish undecorating, cl cleaning this house. I hope you do some laundry. I've got to do laundry or we're going to have no clothes. Next video, we may not even have a shirt on. We may have no clothes. Yep. She's got to do laundry. It's bad. It's not that bad. It is bad. It's not that bad. And, um, but anyway, so... We I went and bought some nice tubs to put my decorations in because the tubs I have that I've kept my Christmas decorations in, we've had since we got married. Since we got married, since and they're busting up, they're getting brittle, and they're breaking, and they're busting. Have y'all bought tubs lately? They're not cheap. You know, I'm used to five dollar tubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not five dollars anymore. Not no more. Ah. Uh, anyway, so we just got three, so I'm still going to, have to make do with some of mine, but that's okay. But anyway, so if you missed last video, you need to go back and check it out because it's a giveaway. It's a giveaway. giveaway. You got to pay attention, watch the video, and know what to say, when to say yep, it, how and to say it. And it's a long video. Long it video. It was a long video. So anyway, we're not going to make tonight's that long. Marriage advice. She gets long-winded. <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes. And somebody said, reading those Christmas cards is boring. But yeah, I know. For those of you that it's not your card, but if somebody sent it, they want to they want to see that I saw it. So, um, and I get that. But just fast forward through that part. All right, marriage advice. Your spouse deserves quality time. Okay, that's what tonight was. Oh man, that that is so good because I was thinking something similar. Go What's ahead. Mm -hmm. I'll add to you when but you. But this is my advice. I know you give it, and I'll <laughs> add to you. <laughs> quality time, just like tonight. I didn't need to go out to eat. Didn't have really the money to go out to eat. We did have the money, but I'm tight. He don't like to use the money to go out to eat. I don't like to use the money. And so I'm I'm an eat at home type person. I'd rather eat at home <laughs> than anywhere else because I love her cooking. And so she sends me a message that says, hey, can we go out to eat tonight? And uh, I've had the boys all day, and uh, I just want to go sit down and have some menu time. So it wasn't about the food. It was about quality time um, because I've burning the candle at both ends we literally just, we've just gotten through christmas which was a lot of ministry responsibilities a lot of meetings and excuse me activities and stuff like that and so now i'm burning the candle at both ends on caroline's project trying to get it knocked out and so and that, i think i'm extra antsy because we're out of chicken so this is our time usually we take a trip right to now. have together and we're not getting it. Yeah. Usually we take about a two or three day trip together. And this time we're not going to be able to do that. That's okay. There will always be a next time. Mm. But there may not be another time that I can help Caroline and Jamie. And so, and we, so we don't begrudge any of that. Oh, we, no. We're glad. I'm um, so excited to have them next door. We, uh, I've done the math. And if they'd hired a contractor and paid a contractor hundred and fifty dollars a square foot is uh about what it's running these days um it would have cost them an additional about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars and they couldn't have done that they could have done that they could not have built a house size house that they built um so had it not been for daddy well and some connections <laughs> to some people doing stuff reasonably priced and just the, the lord has blessed through it all i can't thank the guy that goes to church with us, Tyler Hall, I can't thank him enough uh, for uh, yeah. helping me and guiding me and stuff like that. So the Lord put all that in place and all that together. And so it's just been a, been a great blessing. So yep. about one more week and we over. Huh? My advice, however, it goes right along with that because Bryant will call and say, ride with me to Lowe's. And I may be in the middle of something. And I'm like, oh. No, I don't want to ride with you to Lowe's. Or he'll do say, I got to. Do I got to? Or he'll say, ride with me to check the cows. And I'm like, oh. but always, if your spouse is asking for time with you, I'm sorry, um, check the camera. If your spouse is asking for time with you, do it. Because do you know how many spouses out there would love for their, their husband or their wife to say, would you go with me somewhere? 
that they don't have that. And I have to remind myself of that, that there's some women who would love for their husband to want to spend time with them. Yeah. And um, some of them don't want to spend time with their husband. I know. <laughs> Just kidding. So, Just um, kidding. so I always take advantage, even if it's inconvenient at the time. I mean, there's times I have to say no or, but if, if it can at all be done, do it because it's not about the cows it's about spending time together because one day you'll wish you had those times back yep and you can't get them yep can't get them all right guys that's it for tonight all right thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife hope you enjoyed the vlogmas almost over we're going to end it january 1st three more days january 1st will be it and that's then today. i mean the, it won't be the end of the channel it'll just be the end of the daily vlogs and then we will start actually January 1st will be kind of a cooking vlog hey, because I'll do. She still couldn't find I couldn't any hog, find hog jowls. Jowls. I don't know what I'm going to do. Stay there's a little tuned. country grocery store I'm going to go to tomorrow. I'm going to take you with us. And then there's that nice grocery store that I took you to to find the peppermint extract. I don't what, know if you remember what that. What grocery store was that? Lowe's. Uh, we can't afford that. <laughs> so I'll go to the country <laughs> store first. Did you, tell, did you tell them? I know I didn't tell them the store. I just we told just, him it was a fancy grocery store. We just got married. And it was my favorite grocery store. We just got married. She loved shopping there. We went to get groceries. She bought name brand everything. And I'm wondering if I've married the wrong person because she didn't buy nothing off brand. That was and a long I, time ago. And I knew we was going to have intense moment of fellowship. I have since compromised. She has compromised. We don't compromise. I bought just the things my mom, the same things my mama bought. I know. It, I wasn't, I wasn't, I mean, I just bought what mom, I was raised on. Three things we don't compromise. Duke's mayonnaise. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, which is. Uh, Jif. Jif. And toilet, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Three things we don't go chinchy on, okay? Yep. <laughs> so. But anyway, you go, you go so I got to find me some hog jowl. Yep. So. And those of you that don't know what hog jowl is, it, it's just, it's like a piece of side meat, like fat back, but it's got more lean in it. And uh, we fry it up on New Year's and it is so good with my applesauce. Make your tongue smack your brains oh, out. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. All right, guys, we're out of here. Off of here. Thank, thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, the grease is hot enough. You, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all. Even whole jobs. Yep. Bye, guys. <laughs>